Hello students and welcome to my channel MathSab. So today in this video I'll tell you about how to derive a four-year series expansion on any arbitrary interval. So let's check this exercise. So you have to obtain the four-year series expansion of fx as pi minus x by 2 in the interval 0 less than x less than 2. So you know I told you just one formula to the coefficients a0, a and b n. So whatever expansion, whatever interval you get, you can do that uh, exercise using the basic formulas, right? So the basic formulas are not going to change. So we know that for any four-year series expansion, we need to compare the interval with C to C plus 2L. So that is our first step. So in this case, the interval that is given to us is 0 to 2. So that means when comparing, we get C equal to 0 and we get C plus 2L is equal to 2. So from here, when we substitute c equal to 0, we will get l is equal to 1, right? So now let us calculate the value of a0 first of all. a0 is 1 by l integration c to c plus 2 l f of x dx. So let us put in the values. So l is 1, so 1 by 1 is 1 only. The interval, the integration is from 0 to 2. The function is pi minus x by 2 dx. So let us do the integration. So integration of, I can take out half common. Integration of pi is pi x. Integration of x is x square by 2. And then when we put in the limits from 0 to pi, 0 to 2, sorry. So what do we get? Half is constant out pi into 2 becomes 2 pi and then we have 1 by 2 and 2 square. So 2 will get cancelled and we will get 1 2. So again 2 and 2 will get cancelled and we get pi minus 1. Right. Now let us calculate the second Fourier coefficient that is a n. So what is a n? It's 1 by l integration c to c plus 2 l f of x into cos n by x by l dx. <clears throat> so that becomes 1 by 1 is 1. So we have integration 0 to 2 pi minus x by 2 multiplied by cos n pi x, right? Because l is 1, so we get n pi x dx. So I can take out half common and now let us integrate it using by parts method. So pi minus x acts as the first function and cos nx acts as the second function. So pi minus x is constant, is the same. Cos nx integration becomes sine n pi x by n pi. And then we have in derivative of pi minus x is minus 1. Integration of sine n pi x by n pi will become minus cos n pi x divided by n square pi square, right? And then we put in the limits as 0 to 2. Now, which limit is going to be 0? Let us check. When we put the limit x as 2, I'll get 2 and pi. That makes it 0. And similarly, when I put 0, it will become 0. So this limit is 0. So that means we are left with the second term. And this is minus altogether. So we have minus 1 by 2 is outside and we get n square pi square, right? And within the brackets, we get when you put the upper limit, it will become cos 2n pi. And when we put the lower limit, cos of 0 is 1. Now, what is 2n pi cos 2n pi? We know that cos n pi is how much? Cos n pi is minus 1 raised to power n. So this term will become minus 1 raised to power 2n, which is always 1. That makes it 0, right? So a n comes out to be 0. And now lastly, we let's calculate b n. So b n is 1 by L integration c to c plus 2L f of x into sine n pi x by L dx. So that becomes 0 to 2 pi minus x divided by 2, I'm writing it outside, into sine n pi x dx. 
So what is the integration? It is half. Pi minus x will be kept constant. Integration of sine n pi x is minus cos n pi x divided by n pi. And then we take the derivative of pi minus x which is minus 1. And then the integration is minus sine n pi x divided by n square pi square. So now again let's check which terms will become 0. So again you can see sine n pi 2 and pi will be 0 and sine 0 is again 0. So this term is 0 altogether. Right. So from here what can be taken out common? I can take out a minus sign common. I'll get minus 1 by 2 n pi. And now let us put in the limits. When I put x as 2, so I'll get the first term as pi minus 2 into cos 2 n pi. And when I put the lower limit as 0, I'll get pi cos of 0, which is 1. Right? So I'll definitely get here pi. So let's open up the term. So this is minus 1 by 2 n pi. Cos 2 n pi is again 1. So this is pi minus 2 minus pi. So pi and pi gets cancelled. Minus 2 will get cancelled with minus 2. And I'll get here. This is 1 by n pi. Right? 2 gets cancelled. Right? So finally, what is my Fourier series expansion? F of x is basically a naught by 2. So a naught is coming out to be pi minus 1. So I'll get pi minus 1 by 2. A n is 0, right? And then B n is 1 by n pi. So I'll get 1 by pi constant. And I can put a summation along n. n going from 1 to n. 1 by n sine n pi. Right? So this becomes my answer. Right? So that means an any arbitrary interval is also given to us. We can use the same formulas to calculate the Fourier coefficients a0, an and bn. Right? So there is a DIY for you. So please try this question. A periodic function of period 4 is defined as fx is mod x in the interval minus 2 to 2. You need to find its Fourier series expansion. So again, I'll give you a hint. How do you define mod x? Or if you draw the graph of mod x, it is like this, right? So it's like this. So you can see that this function is again symmetric about the y-axis. So this function acts as a even function. So if it's an even function, then automatically bn will become 0. And you just need to calculate the coefficients a0 and an, right? So do calculate the coefficients of a0 and an and do share your answers in the comment section, right? So that's all for this video. Thank you so much. If you like the video, do hit the like button. And those of you who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel. And believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed. Thank you.